I'm uh, Meera Shinivasan. I'm Director of Product Management at Oracle and lead the product strategy for the Oracle Business Process Management Suite platform. I've been with the Oracle BPM product management team since 2008 when the first product line was kicked off and I'm really excited about introducing the latest release, Oracle BPM Suite to Wall 1.3. Since 2009, we have made several product investments and our uh, investment has been based on four um, major guidelines. Um, and the first one is around business empowerment to enable business users to do more and more to drive their process development um, activities to be able to participate in the entire process development life cycle. The second guiding principle is based on providing a unified single platform for all places of process flavors, be it system centric or human centric or decisions or even unstructured processes such as case processes. Our third guiding principle has been around providing a robust secure platform that not only meet your current process needs, but can also meet your future process requirements. And lastly, we want to be able to provide insightful, deep, powerful analytics so that you can take control of your processes and continuously optimize your business processes. The 1213 release features can be grouped into six major themes. The first um, theme in Oracle BPM 1213 release is around broader business modeling. So with our very first release, we introduced innovative web-based business targeted tooling, the business process composer for business users to be able to participate in the entire process development lifecycle from start to finish. We have made big investments in process composer so that business user can capture all aspects of their process application from processes to forms to rules to data and even capture business indicators for process analytics. So with the 11G release, business users can not only design their processes but also implement their processes and utilize the services assets that have been published to business catalog by the IT developer and be able to deploy and run their process from within their tool of choice. In short, with Oracle BPM 11G, you experienced agile rapid development process, develop, process development lifecycle. With Oracle BPM 1213, we have broadened the modeling capabilities in the product. So when customers move from BPM projects, departmental level BPM projects to enterprise-wide BPM program initiatives, we are dealing with not few handful processes, but hundreds of processes across the enterprise, some core, some supporting, and some operational level BPM processes. What this means is there's a need for cataloging and categorizing your business processes and be able to identify um, the best BPM opportunities in your organization for achieving maximum ROI. So in order to facilitate that, we have added support for conceptual models and for lightweight, actionable business architecture. So a business user can model all the way starting from an enterprise process map, drill it down into a hierarchy of value chains, and ultimately link it to operational business process flows in BPMN. In addition, we've also supported for capturing your business strategies. You can capture your goals, and break it down into objectives, break it down into strategies, and ultimately link it to your operational business process flows. As I mentioned earlier, we've made this support really actionable, and that is through this innovative KPI roll-up support, which I'm gonna talk about right now. You can define KPIs at the lower level operational process flows, and we allow you to roll up and link it to higher level KPIs at the conceptual model levels, and generate a KPI enterprise heat map. So what this allows you to do is do strategic analysis and determine what are the process areas that you want to focus on and uh, pick out um, your process candidates that can produce the maximum ROI on, on process optimization. So this will align your BPM project initiatives to your business strategy and ensure that um, you are getting the maximum from prior and, and able to prioritize these BPM investments. The second theme for Oracle BPM 1213 is mobile. The way people work has changed dramatically and people want to be productive anytime, anywhere from any device. Oracle BPM ships with special capabilities to optimize your experience in mobile and to engage all stakeholders across the enterprise. 
we recently released a native iPad BPM mobile application that you can download from Apple iTunes Store for task approvals and no custom development work is necessary. We also added support for REST APIs uh, for Oracle BPM Task Service as a patch on top of Oracle BPM 11.117 called um, Bundle Patch 3. So with REST APIs and the Oracle Mobile Platform Framework, you would be able to build and test your mobile application and to control access across a variety of devices. With 12.13, we are bringing a generic new mobile application that can work across mobile operating systems, iOS and Android, and across a variety of form factors without having to do any coding. To further optimize your mobile experience, Oracle BPM Web Forms in 12.13 are responsive and can render in all kind of form factors from being displayed in a web to a tablet to a smartphone. With the Oracle BPM 1213 mobile application, you can do task approvals either one at a time or in bulk. You can add comments, you can add browse documents and add them as attachments. You can take a picture and you can add them as attachments. We also integrate with other native services such as geolocation. And with Oracle BPM 1213, users can be productive even when they're offline or in disconnected mode. So you can continue to do your work in disconnected mode, and then when you're reconnected back, we automatically synchronize your task and we make it a very productive experience. The third theme in Oracle BPM 1213 is around developer productivity. We have added significant number of features in Oracle BPM 1213 release to increase developer productivity. In this release, we have introduced the small memory footprint um, three-click BPM Quick Start Install. It requires less than four gigabyte of memory and installs both Oracle BPM Studio and the integrated server. In Oracle BPM, the developer experience is optimized for productivity and requires zero to minimal coding. It is mostly wizard-based and all declarative. However, we do understand that developers sometimes um, have the need to write code and for complex operations and computations. So with Oracle BPM 1213, we've introduced first class support for Groovy scripting. And Groovy scripting um, is supported in many different places in Oracle BPM 1213. You can of course have a script activity and embed your Groovy code in that. Um, and that's completely um, you know, doable in 1213. We also support Groovy scripting in business object methods, in expressions of conditional path, in data associations and a number of other places as well. So you can use Groovy scripting for all these complex computations and calculations with 1213 release. The, we've added other useful features like support for enumeration type in business object, um, hierarchy support in business object, and being able to have methods in business object with Groovy scripts. We've added support for um, uh, business parameters where you could um, capture um, business constants specific to organization units or business units, and then you can change them dynamically at, uh, at runtime. Um, another feature that developers will really like and enjoy is the complete debugger, debugging capability support in BPM 1213. So you can step into, step over, and you can inspect variables um, across processes, across sub-processes, across even peer processes with whom, you, um, with whom the main process is interfacing. So with all of these uh, developer productivity, productivity features, we hope that um, your developers will have a very uh, productive ex experience um, and enjoy um, you know, developing BPM projects. The fourth theme is adaptive case management. This is a big area of investment for the BPM um, product team. So far, BPM projects have been focused on automating and optimizing predictable structured process flows um, customers have realized substantial benefits by increased visibility, agility, transparency, and operational efficiency of these business processes. So now we are seeing customers wanting to do the same, um, leverage the same BPM benefits that they have applied to the structured processes to their high value, unstructured, highly unpredictable process flows. These high value flows are very unstructured and each instance is unique and they're very document intensive and involve complex decision making by uh, participants often referred to as knowledge workers. 
the activities executed as well as the order of execution is very unique to each and every instance and uh, determined by a combination of knowledge worker decisions, events, policies captured as rules, and data that could be both structured and unstructured. These type of processes are broadly referred to as case type of processes. In Oracle BPM 11.117, we added first class support for dynamic case management. And we now offer a single unified platform for both BPM and adaptive case management. We also recently released a case UI to provide 360 degree view of your case, all your data, both structured and unstructured, um, be able to see all the case activities, the case milestones, the case outcomes, be able to see the very detailed audit trail, be able to collaborate within the case UI, um, and be also able to um, you know, take action on your case dynamically at runtime. The fifth theme in Oracle BPM 1213 is around process monitoring and actionable insights. Oracle BPM process analytics capabilities enable operation managers as well as business leaders to monitor the process health as well as business performance and take corrective action on the process activities on the fly in real time. Many en enhancements to Oracle BPM process analytics and the BAM components have been added in 1213 release to enable a business user to analyze all aspects of the business process. Um, BAM Composer is new and it's built on the same stack as Process Composer. It has support for rich visualization components and provides a seamless business-friendly experience for creating reports and dashboards. The number two compelling, interesting feature that we've added to this area in 12.1.3 is rich support for out-of-the-box BAM dashboards. It's called as BPM Process Monitor Dashboard and is used to monitor real-time performance of processes, tasks, and resources. These out-of-the-box dashboards indicate process uh, bottlenecks and inefficiencies and also help in identifying the root cause of these. So users can drill down into these instances and take corrective action promptly without having to leave the BAM monitor, and that's very powerful. Additionally, you can compare how your processes, your in-flight processes, as well as the process instances that have completed recently are performing um, in comparison to some historical averages. The sixth theme in Oracle BPM 1213 is around uh, migration from BPM 10G to BPM 1213. If you are a 10G customer, this feature is for you. So with BPM 12.1.3, you can seamlessly migrate your BPM 10G projects, your processes, your organization units, your business objects into Oracle BPM 12.1.3. The PBL code will automatically get migrated to Groovy Script, and the PAPI API and PAPI web services will be translated to BPM services API. You can handle runtime instances in two ways. If they are short running runtime instances, you can um, keep them and complete them on BPM 10G so you have parallel deployments for a short period of time. But if you have long running instances, we provide a mechanism for you to migrate your long running instances from 10G to 12C. So you can start them in suspended mode in 12C and use the APIs to migrate the instance data. Then you can use AltaFlow in BPM 1213 to resume the suspended instances in 1213.